All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to Orphans. Now in episode three. Similar to Leon and Tammy, Jarek seems to be out of his mind. He is sure 100% possessed. I think he's being possessed by the father of the family that took in Amelia from the orphanage, from Sister Elizabeth Brown. Uh, anyways, he's become convinced that Sandy is Amelia. Sandy manages to escape, but just only, and to a room where Jarek continues to pursue her by breaking the door. We know now Sandy is in the room that they had Amelia shackled to the bed. It had like leather straps all around. Not a good space for her to be in. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't get any better when Sandy realizes he has a gun. Jarek is definitely being possessed by that father. The father uh, essentially killed... Um, his family, his daughter and his wife, because he was being possessed by Amelia. And then I think he ended up, you know, eliminating himself as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into Orphans Episode 3. And if you're in... An eerie silence surrounds this place. Even the birds seem to sense it. Well, I just kind of gave you a little insight on what just happened in episode one and two. Um, yeah, so <laughs> if you're enjoying Orphans, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and join the Tethered. Now, the, the, the short video that you just saw there was a quick kind of like as seen on. <laughs> it was basically a lot of it was what happened in episode two. Um, episode one was a lot of, uh, introduction of the characters, a lot of, you know, kind of, um, the beginnings of the, the ghostly events and the ghostly, uh, happenings, right? So, but now we just heard in that very last video of that clip of videos that there was a gunshot in that room. I'm hoping that didn't just happen to Sandy, <laughs> but I'm sure we'll find out here in a second. Even Mika heard it. Mika heard it. Like, was, was that a gunshot? Sandy's offline. That's not good. What happened there? Damn it. And what's going on with Jarek? He's possessed. This voice. It's definitely the voice of the father. You know, that, that's who is possessing him. Jarek is hallucinating. He thinks Sandy is someone else. Mika, I'm afraid Jarek shot Sandy. Well, we don't know that for sure. So I'm not going to say that because we don't know for sure. We know that. A gun went off that he pretty much had in his possession. We don't know if he connected with Sandy or not. Or maybe he missed. Maybe it just went off. Who knows? Maybe he used it to shoot open the door. Don't know. That was Jarek. He's completely lost his mind. Uh, let's say that he is definitely hallucinating. And he definitely thinks that Sandy is Amelia. Or someone else. Why doesn't he recognize Sandy? And where the hell is Jarek? Or where the hell did Jarek get a gun? Oh, it's Tammy. I mean, that's not good. What have you done? Oh, where's this Jarek? No. He didn't. No, he didn't just do that to Sandy. It does seem like she might still be alive, though, in this picture. She's grimacing her face. She's crying. Maybe she just hit her head. Maybe she didn't actually get hit with any kind of projectiles. <laughs> 
Oh my god, Jarek. Let Sandy go down and put down the damn gun. Don't let the bitch fool you. Amelia, she's dangerous. I had to tie her up. That's not Amelia, Jarek. <laughs> if you lost your mind, why are you saying such insane things? Get a grip. That's Sandy, not Amelia. Shut up. Shut up. Has this thing already blinded you to the point that you no longer recognize the truth? And now you're trying to manipulate me? You're turning against me. No, you're insane. <laughs> For fuck's sake, Jerk, listen. What are you talking about? We're trying to help you. You're spewing, spewing bullshit, Jerk. You must know that. Uh, I don't really want to insult him. Um... I want to say we're trying to help him. Yeah, let's go with that. I want him to know that we're trying to help him. Maybe that'll that'll reach the Jarek inside the possession. Help me. I can't believe how ignorant you are. I have to destroy this creature. Jarek, please. You're imagining things. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I will end it. It's not good. Jarek, please calm down and let's talk about this. Jarek, answer me. Mika's reaching out to us tongue tied. He's going to kill Sandy. Why won't he listen to us? Well, because he's in, he, he's possessed. It's not him. It's the thing inside him. He firmly believes, believes Sandy is Amelia. He's convinced we've turned against it. Look, it's not him. It's this thing that's inside. It's this possession that's taken a hold of him. There must be something we can do. Damn it. He used to love her. What about that necklace? Maybe we got to get that necklace in front of him somehow. There has to be some way we can awaken his emotions for Sandy in him. I know Jarek saw his feelings for her. It's, it has to do with that necklace. I guarantee it. Jarek. Please, you have to listen to us. Jarek, talk to us. We will help you, Jarek. You just have, you just have to trust us. Whatever you're planning to do, Jarek, please think it over. I'm going to go with, we'll help you. He just has to trust us. Even though it probably won't work. There's no point, TT. He won't listen to us. Hmm. He will have to listen to us. Damn, Jarek, answer us. Crap, what do we do now? Look, Jarek, Jam, Jam, answer us. Sitting here trying to talk to you, Jarek. You're not, you're not, Jim, answering anything. You're not, not letting me help you. Forget about it. He's not thinking straight. We have to find a way to talk to him. Are we going to, we going to call him? Enter the contact ID. Oh, we're, we're just going to call him. Four, five, six, seven, five. Let's see what that happens. Let's see, let's see how that works. He just hangs up. He's like, nah, I ain't talking to you. <laughs> Answer, hang up. Save your breath. You idiots. She is deceiving you. Jarek, you would never want to harm Sandy, would you? Damn it, Jarek. Sandy came to you just uh, came to you to be safe. You're the idiot right now. You just don't realize. You, you would never do anything to harm her, would you? You'd never do anything to hurt Sandy. If you don't wake up, you're going to hurt Sandy. Please come to your senses, Jarek. You fell for her ruse. I will destroy that bitch. TT, please do something. Jarek, please look at this photo of you two. Sandy still loves you, Jarek. Look, uh, look at what she wrote to me earlier. Do you remember? Oh, the necklace. We got to do that. Do you remember the necklace? 
you gave Sandy. We gotta be, it's gotta be the necklace. That's gotta be it. Send the picture. It's gotta be. The necklace. Sandy was so excited when I gave it to her. Jarek, please try to remember. The woman on the bed is Sandy. You gave the necklace to her. I know you're confused. But if you don't wake up now, you will do something you will regret for the rest of your life. But Amelia, she... She what? Jarek, that's not Amelia. You mean... But that can't be right. Come on, Jarek. Think about the good times you had with Sandy. Sandy, I... Oh, was that him collecting his memories again? That might have been him collecting his memories. Jarek is offline. We may have saved Sandy. We may have helped Jarek realize what he was doing or realize that, or essentially release him from the possession. That might have worked. What are you going to do, TT? Uh, I think we managed to calm him down a bit. He seemed rattled. He won't listen to us. I'm afraid Sandy is at his look. I think he calmed down for a bit. I think he did. I think he's starting to remember. Your idea with the necklace seemed to have an effect on him. I just hope we were able to talk some sense into him. I'm so scared, TT. Amelia. Who the hell is she? And why does Jarek want to kill her? Amelia was one of the children who used to live in the orphanage. She was possessed. Look at this, Jarek found this letter there. Terrible things happened in that house, Mika. Um, all statements are true. I don't know if there's a better statement or a worse statement. So not knowing that, we always wanna to try to find the best statement. <laughs> Otherwise it could lead to somebody's death. Hmm. I wonder what letter we're gonna be sending her, I'm not sure. Probably the letter that the father wrote about Amelia, maybe. Let's do that. Send actual proof. Picks or didn't happen, so we're definitely sending the picks. Jarek is offline. You will regret this. Did we make the wrong decision? Did was that was that not good? Did it, was I not supposed to send the pictures? <laughs> I thought we were. I thought it was going good. I thought Jarek was remembering. But maybe that was a sign showing that the the image of Amelia was going back into Jarek's brain. Regarding Sandy, like instead of him seeing Sandy, he was seeing Amelia. Maybe that was just showing us that that's happening to Jarek right now. You will regret this. You were trying to fool me. You wanted to confuse me. Made me think I've lost my mind. You distracted me so Amelia could escape. So, did Sandy escape? What the hell are you talking about? No, it's not us who want to deceive you. Jarek, what happened? What's going on with Sandy? Look, it's it's not us that, that, that wants to deceive you. It's it's the ghosts. Shut your mouth already. You're in cahoots with that creature. You're going to die. That's a little harsh. Amelia won't escape. Sandy is online. So Sandy may have escaped. That's good. Jarek. Is 
definitely possessed. But what stairs was he? Was that the stairs of uh, of the house? I thought there were like, I thought it was like a single floor house with a basement. I didn't know it had a second floor. Sandy, Sandy is still okay at the moment. She was able to hide. That's good. So she did She did get away. She escaped for a second. Oh my god, Sandy. Are you safe? What about Jarek? You're alive. We were worried sick about you. Sandy, what, ha um, what happened? Let's just ask her what happened. Blanket statement. Blanket question. It all happened so fast. I was in that bedroom. I called you guys. When he suddenly broke through the door, he had a rifle that he found in the basement. He fired a shot. I tried to escape. I wanted to get past him to get outside. Then I felt a punch. I don't know. Oh, he hit her with the shotgun. Probably he, like he smacked her. I think he hit me with the the rifle. Yeah, not shotgun. What was I think? Shotgun. Rifle. When I regained consciousness, I was tied up. I was lying on this damn bed, unable to do anything. I could hear Jarek pacing in the room next to me. Even his footsteps sounded angry. I was so terribly scared. How could you free yourself from the restraints? He really thinks you're that possessed girl from back in the day. Where are you? So look, he, I'm, I'm going to let her know what Jarek thinks she is. Maybe that will help give her an idea of how to interact with Jarek or how to get into... You know, get past the possession and, and into Jarek to, to to let Jarek know who she really is and maybe pull on some of those heartstrings that Jarek still has for Sandy. You mean Amelia? I don't get it. What is the deal with Amelia? I was lying there crying, listening to his steps. Suddenly, it got quiet. And then he appeared. That must have been terrible. It was. But Sandy... Uh, but suddenly, it seemed... I don't know. Confused. The anger in his eyes had given way to a deep sadness. He untied me. He gave me the rifle. He told me to run away. Said he could no longer stop the evil inside him. At the moment, or at that moment, I saw his eyes changed. The hate, the anger, it was there again. I took the rifle and went upstairs to the attic. I slammed the hatch shut. So, for a split second there, Jarek was able to get past the possession and help Sandy. That's good. So that, there's the hatch. She's in the attic, and this is the hatch. Sandy, you have to make sure that Jarek doesn't come up there. Wait, there's an old dresser here. Yep, slide that right on top of it. I put it on the door. Good. That, that was good. That was a good idea. Why didn't you go out into the forest away from Jarek? Well, you might get lost in the forest, and you don't really know. What about Jarek? She also might be hurt, too. She, she might have a pretty serious head injury. What about Jarek? Where is he? He's coming after Sandy. Uh, what are we going to do? Uh, what, are you, what are you going to do, Sandy? Now that you're in the attic, kind of, kind of safe, but trapped at the same time. I have no idea. The door leading outside was locked. I had no other choice. I'm stuck up here. But it's quiet at the moment. You have to get out of there, Sandy. Nico's right. You're not safe. Is there another way out? Maybe a window? Sandy, you need to weigh down the hatch with every uh, with whatever you, you... You definitely need to weigh down the hatch with whatever you can find. Because that's going to be the one and only way that he can reach you, I, I would assume. Except for the dresser, unfortunately, there is not much here, but I'll try. Mika, what do you want me to do? I can't get out of here. The only way out is a small window to the outside. Okay, so there's a little tiny window there that she can get outside, but I don't know how high, high up she is. That could be a pretty massive drop, and if she was to jump out, I mean... You never know, she might twist an ankle, twist her knee, sprain something, break something. And then she's on the ground, can't get away, and Jarek comes to her. So who knows what to actually do? Even if I fit through it and make it to the roof, then I'll be stuck up there. I've already had a look. No chance of getting down without breaking my neck. 
There must be something we can do, right? Oh my god. He's here. Please, you've got to talk some sense into him. Maybe, maybe Sandy has to talk some sense into him. We just got to hope that he's not strong enough to open up that door with that dresser being there. Because, man, I don't know. That's Evil Dead written on. <laughs> I can imagine him, like, opening up the, the hatch just a couple inches and then having, like, Evil Dead eyes coming through it. Like, terrifying. It's pointless, Sandy. We've tried. We can't get through to him. Sandy, the hatch, are you sure it will hold? That voice, that's not Jarek. Something sinister is inside him. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think the bottom two choices are going to be the choices that we go with, but which one? Um, do we ask her if the if the hatch is going to hold, or do we just talk about how that's not him? There's something within him that's, I think that's more where we need to go towards, is trying to figure out how to get past this possession, how to get past this sinister um, possession that's that's got a hold of Jarek and get to Jarek within it, get to the heartstrings of Jarek. Sandy, if he comes through that hatch, you'll have to shoot. But I can't shoot him. I can't shoot Jarek. It's no longer Jarek. I agree with Mika, you have no choice, Sandy. Sandy, if you see no other way out, you must not hesitate. There has to be another way. Man, this is definitely a fork in the road. <laughs> I feel like this is going to determine who lives and who dies. I mean, if there's no other way out, Sandy's, she, she can't hesitate. She just can't. Man, that's so hard to do. Sandy, if you if you don't see any other way out, you 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 can't hesitate, or he's gonna kill you, for sure. No, there has to be another way. I'm so scared. I don't think that lash will hold him back much longer. Annie says she's on her way now, so Sandy just went offline. Andy, as we know from the end of episode two. She said that she was on her way to that orphanage. She's going to try to help, and I, I don't think that's a good idea, but there's nothing we can do to stop her. I'm on my way now. Please don't tell Mika anything yet until I'm near the orphanage. I don't want her to get worried, or I don't want her to worry. Um, yeah, please hurry up. Jarek is completely freaking out right now. I just hope you find the place. I think Mika should know you're coming. I think Mika would say don't do it like don't don't come to the orphanage um man and he's putting herself right in the middle of it all look i hope you can find the place she might not even be able to find it she might end up in the same village that samuel and ena are at yes me too sorry it's hard to text while i'm driving well stop texting while you're driving you should call me i, I want to hear from you i want to talk voice to voice <laughs> I'm so nervous, too. My hands are shaking. Let me know if you have news. Oh, what's happening with Sandy? Sandy should just keep talking to Jared, keep saying stuff to him, bring up past memories, bring up, you know, good times that they had with each other, just to get past that possession, to, to try to get a hold of Jared within, within his possession. 
Annie lastly said, I'll make sure that my cell is turned on. Mika says, I can't believe this. That letter says this Amelia had the father kill his family and then himself. And Jarek thinks Sandy is Amelia. For fuck's sake, we gotta help her somehow. Where the hell is the police? This is all taking far too long. Something is wrong. TT, someone needs to get over there. But I just can't get out of this freaking room. Samuel and Enor are still offline too. Besides, we have no idea where this house is located. Samuel and Ina are like having a party, getting drugged probably at this party. But they, it's almost like they don't even care what's going on with, with their friends now. They just think that like they talk to the sheriff that they're sending a deputy over or whatever and everything's going to be fine. But they have no clue what's actually happening, what is truly going on. Premium chat option. Your sister is on her way, Mika. She will get you out of there. And by doing this is, is probably going to... Who knows? We're, we're about to let Mika know that her sister's on her way. Mika's probably going to be upset. But we will always use the premium chat options. So your sister is on her way, Mika. She will get you out of there. What? No, she can't come here. She's only putting herself in danger. If anything were to happen to her, I could never forgive myself. Yeah, um... I kind of figured that was going to happen. I kind of figured Mika was going to be like, nah, don't don't come to the orphanage. So BWT looked like it was online. What is that about? Has he lost his mind? I texted Marco earlier. Instead of helping us, he leaves the group? Oh, BWT left the group? It's interesting. I find that quite odd, too. I don't think so, Mika. Uh, he wouldn't do that, would he? He thinks it's... Look, he, he does think it's all a super joke. Maybe that's why... He, maybe that's why he left the left the group. He thinks it's all just a joke that everybody's trying to play. I told him what's going on with Jarek. He knows that Sandy is at her mercy and that she's terrified. I just hope she's okay. I wish we could help her somehow. She's still off, she's still offline. I hope she'll get back to me soon. She's trapped in the look. She's definitely trapped in the attic. If only I could open this freaking door. I'll keep trying, TT. There must be a way to open this thing. Please keep trying to reach Samuel and Ina. And tell my sister to turn around too. Mika's offline. We're gonna try to reach out to Samuel and Nina. It's probably not gonna work. Please get in touch. They're probably passed out. They're they're drugged up. They're unconscious right now. They're being tied to some kind of ritual table. I'm I'm guessing. God, <laughs> they're about to be sacrificed. I'm sure of it. Sandy's life is in danger. We need you. Jarek has gone completely mad. The police have not yet arrived at the orphanage. There's something wrong. I'm going to go with that. Oh. That's not good. Message couldn't be sent. So they're not allowing... Like, the ghost isn't allowing me to contact Ina and Sandy. Goober. Freaking goober. Hello, Miss Fonts. Hi, TT. I was just wondering if you had any news on Henry's whereabouts. No, unfortunately, I don't. Mr. Goober, I now absolute, I'm, I'm now absolutely sure my father's disappearance has something to do with the orphanage and his research. I put you in touch with the judge. She will confirm that this is nonsense. Hasn't she gotten back to you yet? Look, Goober... You and Poseidon are absolutely out of your mind. If you don't think that there's something going on with this brotherhood or the bearers of light and that they don't have something to do with what is actively going on and something to do with Henry Fonce's disappearance. You're insane. Almost as insane as Jarek, Tammy, and Leon. Let me <laughs> she also said that the bearers of light don't pose any danger these days. Why does she want to remain anonymous and went into hiding if there's no danger? Exactly. Because there is still danger. 
because she and her family were facing a great deal of hostility from the Brotherhood. Social media makes it pretty easy for people to threaten others anonymously. None of this adds up, Mr. Goober. If this Brotherhood really has such a great influence, they would have sought protection from their member or for from their members instead of breaking away from the community, right? Well, you have a point there, of course, but the bearers of light also pursue their interests. When a member casts a negative light on the community in the public, it affects the image and reputation of the whole community. So she didn't leave voluntarily. What are you implying? So she was forced to leave the Brotherhood. She probably didn't leave voluntarily. Let's say she was advised to leave. She was advised to leave with the threat of death, probably. <laughs> so, she's still supporting them because she was so kindly asked to leave. And for the same reason, she's convinced this brotherhood is harmless. Are you serious, Mr. Goober? Miss Fonts, it's just the facts. I've already explained this to you in detail. Although the Brotherhood originates from a radical religious community, it has developed over centuries into an organization based on solidarity. Besides, if someone harms the community and therefore becomes intolerable, it doesn't mean they, they, don't, sh they don't share their goals and values. Doesn't sound like a solidarity community to me. In other words, if you don't comply, you're out. I imagine something different when I think of the brother. Look, in other words, if you don't comply, you're out. Right. That's basically what it is. That's putting a bit too casually, but basically, yes. <laughs> That's harsh, but it's, it's absolutely true. <laughs> the deeds of individuals are subject to the good of the whole community. That's the foundation of any function, uh, functioning society. If a manager fails to meet the company's goals, they're fired and replaced. That's the nature of a healthy economy. The strong lead, the weak follow, and the weakest are left behind. Sounds kind of <laughs> Definitely sounds like survival of the fittest, for sure. Sad but true, you can't be serious. Though. It's definitely survival of the fittest. It's what it definitely sounds like. But shouldn't solidarity-based communities have overcome this view by now? Should, uh, should not the strong support the weak? I'm so sorry to have, uh, to have to say this, Mr. Goober. Don't you think the survival of the fittest is a bit outdated in this day and age? But apart from that, if the bearers of light care so much about, the public, about their public image that they even dispose of inconvenient members then why should they stop at my father? Right, so Fonts wasn't part of the community. The Fonts went in and started realizing and, and discovering information that was negative towards this community. So it's not like they could just say, hey, you're not part of the community anymore because you're going to divulge negative information about this. They were like, nah, Fonts, like, you're not part of this community, so we're going to kidnap you and make sure that you are unable to spread this this negative light or this this information about us that that perceives us in a in a negative context. It, it has to be right. That's a fair question. Maybe he also became an inconvenience and had to be disposed of. Right. Let's use those same words. absolutely impossible it, it absolutely is not impossible you're talking about crime organized crime yeah which is possible it's 100 percent possible it happens all the time the bearers of light are a community that respects and follows the law it almost sounds like goober is part of the bearers i, I bet goober is a member i bet goober is a an, is an actual member of the bearers of light so the Bears of Light are a community that respects and follows the law. Everything they do is within applicable laws and jurisdiction. I just want to know what happened to my father. I understand that, of course, but you're on the wrong track. The Brotherhood is nothing to do with your father's disappearance. I disagree 100%, Goober. How can you be so sure? You sound like a fan of the group. I feel 
we're going around in circles. Okay, let's not dwell. Look, you sound like you're an actual, not just a fan of the group. You sound like you're a member. It's probably he probably has his application out there to join the community. He's like, he's like, please accept me. I don't ever say anything bad about you guys. I actually try to hide the fact that you guys are an evil organization. Please accept me into your group. That's probably what he's doing. He's got his resume. He's got his application out there to join that community. And the community is just like, mm, nah, keep trying. No, I'm just going by the facts. I am neutral and can only tell you what my thorough research has revealed. Ina is online now. Please don't forget, I've been working on this topic for years. I understand your concern. Therefore, I can only advise you not to focus your research or not to focus your search on this false lead. Unfortunately, I have to devote myself to other tasks now. If I can be of any assistance in any way. Please let me know. I wish you the best of luck finding Henry. No, you don't. No, you don't. You, you, you probably helped. Goober probably was able to give information of Henry and, and of his whereabouts to the Brotherhood so that way they can then go grab Henry and kidnap me. I bet Henry, or not Henry, I bet Goober is, is part of it. He, in some way, he's probably definitely part of, of Henry's kidnapping. Ina on the other hand, is probably completely blacked out wasted. Even though she sent us a little minute-long clip, I have a feeling it's going to be a bunch of gibberish. Her and Samuel are completely gone. I bet. Hey, I'm on my way to the hotel. Uh, look, I don't know. Somehow, I just don't feel well. I feel... Mm, I feel really dizzy. Yeah. And I just kind of want to go to sleep. Look, the woman who gave me this ring, she is so sweet and even brought me back to my room. But, oh God, I can hardly keep myself on my feet. And the weird thing, I didn't even drink that much. Well, I mean, Samu is joining me soon. The mayor, he wanted to talk. He said he had some good news. And, well... I just hope Jason and his colleagues are finally at the orphanage. They're not. Can I help you to your room? No, I'm fine. Thank you so much. We're at the hotel now. I'll get back to you. No. She doesn't make it to a room, I bet. Or she makes it to a room, but they have keys to her room, so once she passes out, they're gonna they're gonna kidnap her too. It, it's not good. She's she, I mean she's all the signs are there. All the evidence, all the red flags. I didn't even have that much to drink, but I'm so dizzy. Like, I can't hardly walk. You just got drugged. You just got slipped a Mickey. Like, you... It's all there. Ina. <sighs> Poor Ina. She's... Goner. She jam, jam goner. What do you think about Goober, t uh, TT? I, I hate him. Something's fishy. What if he's right and we're really on the wrong track? We're not. We're, we're on the right track. I really don't know what to make. Look, something, something, something's definitely fishy. I, I don't like Goober. I don't like the Poseidon. I don't like this Bearers of Light or the Brotherhood. Something is weird. I'm also sure Gruber is playing a game with us. I just don't understand why he offered to help us. Because he's trying to... He, he offered to help us to lead us in the wrong direction. He wants us to forget about this track of trying to find fonts through the brotherhood or through the bearers of light he he doesn't want us looking into the brotherhood or the bearers of light he wants us looking elsewhere and it's not going to happen I'm, I, I don't trust goober i don't even want to talk to goober anymore he has no information that's going to help us he there's nothing he can say or do that's going to help us in any way unless he tries to go against the brotherhood which then they'll probably just kidnap him too so who knows <laughs> He's trying to throw, off, throw us off the scent. Maybe he just wants to find out what we've already come up with. That's right. It's strange. Look, I, I think... I think he wants to throw us off the scent. I think he has something to do with the Brotherhood. You might actually be right, TT. For some reason, he wants to prevent us from finding out more about this community. Now we just have to find out why. Gosh, I'm so so worried uh, about my father. I can hardly think straight. Any news from your friends? Yeah, they're not doing good. I'm incredibly worried about them. I don't know where to start. It's, get, it's getting worse, Amber. It's getting really bad. <laughs> 
It's not good at all. Jarek, he well, just look at it. just just look at the video. He's it's not good. Oh my God, how awful. Yeah, and Sandy is there alone with him. He's going to hurt Sandy if help doesn't come soon. He's possessed. Sandy was able to escape to the attic. Uh, but who knows how long that's going to last for. Who knows how long she'll be able to keep her, herself separated from Jarek in the attic. Because Jarek is banging on that, that attic door. and Who knows? They're alone in that house somewhere in the forest. Alone? But what about the others? They're still in the orphanage. Samuel and are in some village. There are more of your friends at the orphanage, aren't there? Yeah. Yeah, there's there's a few more, but take a look at the uh, haunted group. Yep, they, these, are, these are all the friends. And a lot of them are all offline. Mika is locked in, and Tammy and Leon have also lost their minds. Absolutely possessed. Lost their minds? What exactly do you mean by that? Uh, possessed. Leon had gotten lost. He followed this ghost voice, and then uh, Tammy suddenly disappeared, and then we saw this video. Ooh. Should we show the video of Tammy, or should we show the video of Leon? Let's show this video right here. Let's show the video of Leon. Yeah, it's not good. That's just awful. This sign on her, uh, this sign on her forehead. It was because of the symbol that my father contacted Gruber. I wish I knew how he could have. Could uh, I wish we? I wish I knew how we could help your friend. So this is that that same symbol on the the note that um, Henry had. So this note says, "Then the girl showed me that." Showed me the cause of her pain under protest, a fresh burn under her left foot. It looked as if it was burned into her flesh with a branding iron. This symbol, it was the same the same that I saw before on the shrine of this priest. It also adorned the naked body of the woman who was covered with the animal's blood during the ritual. The same, same symbol right there. That's now plastered on uh, Tammy's and Leon's forehead. That's now sitting on Ina's uh, finger through that ring. It's also tattooed on, I think it was the sheriff that had it tattooed on him. Um, it's probably on Jarek's forehead by now too. Who knows? The police should have been at the orphanage by now. Samuel and Ina are in a village nearby and sent the police there. I'm not even sure if the police can do anything. We're dealing with forces we can't even comprehend. Wait. My father's cell phone is ringing. Really? Unknown caller. Answer it! <laughs> Mika's back online. I have to take this. Alright, well, let me know what, what, what they say afterwards. Amber, I appreciate it. All right, let's go back into the haunted group chat. Finally! Mika got out of the room. Annie. Goodness, Mika. I tried to add you to the group hours ago. Oh, so she was, she was trying to add Annie to the group. Interesting. And I've tried to reach you like a million times. And Sandy's part of the group now too. That's great. That's good. Is she still alive? Sandy, what happened? We were so worried. Please. 
Cherik, I... You... <laughs> I... Sandy, please open the door. Is it really you? No. Please. Together we can do it. Sandy, please. Let me in. No, it's not, you know, if Sandy says, guys, listen, it's Jarek, it's Jarek. It's not, it's not. Sandy, you can't trust him. That monster is still inside him. It's a trick. He wants to deceive you. It does sound like him. He seems to be back to normal. <laughs> He's not back to normal. It's a trick. He's trying to deceive you. You do not open up that hatch for any reason, Sandy. Don't do it. No, it's Jarek. It's not. I got to help him. You, you don't. It's not him. Sandy, you just witnessed it yourself. That thing inside him could come back at any moment. But, but nothing, Sandy. It's not him. You absolutely must not let him in. Where's this house, Sandy? We'll get you out of there one way or another. I don't know exactly. Try to remember. I was in a total panic when I ran into the woods. I can't even tell you how far how far it was from the orphanage. Can someone please tell me what's going on? What's going on with Jarek and why shouldn't Sandy help him? Sandy has locked herself in the attic and Jarek, he, he's possessed and wants to hurt her. You don't know that. You don't know that, Mika. Yeah, we do. They're in this house, Annie, and it's somewhere out in the middle of the forest. Just just out there. Okay, it is a two-story house. Well, I guess that's the attic that she's in. It's pretty high up there. I, I don't know if jumping out of that window would, hit, would, would do Sandy any good either. <laughs> it must be pretty close to the orphanage. Where the hell are you, Annie? You should have stayed home. I couldn't. I can't let my little sister down. I'm on my way. I just pulled over quickly to text you. It'll be a while before I get there. Your stubborn stubbornness will get you killed one day. Annie, please hurry. Hurry, I'm so scared. Hang in there, Sandy. Jarek sounds so desperate. He. Oh, no. I'm gonna bring that little fucking back and kill you. Yeah, yeah, that's not good. It's not good. Sandy's offline. Oh no. <laughs> He's going to kill Sandy. And you get Mika out there. Or uh, get Mika out of there and then look for the house. You have to hurry, Sandy, for fuck's sake. What happened? Um, look, Annie, you need to get Mika. Get Mika out of there and head straight to that house and, and help out. Best you can. Mika, I'll come as soon as I can, and then we'll get Sandy and the others out of there. Stay strong, sister. I'll carry on straight away. You have to get to Sandy first before it's too late. I'm not going anywhere without you. I'll come to you now, and then we'll get Sandy out of there together. And Annie is now offline. Mika. Sandy must be terrified. Oh, for sure. 100%. She really loved Jarek. She still loves him, Mika. 
Seeing him like this must be awful for her. I just hope she doesn't think about opening the hat. Look, it, it, it must be really bad for her. And yeah, I also hope that she doesn't think to open the hatch. Because that wouldn't be good. Wouldn't be good for her at all. It's so horrible. What's happening to Tammy, Leon, and Jarek? And why? They've lost their minds. Become monsters. I'm so afraid I'll... It'll, it'll be my turn too soon. We have to figure out what's going on here and how we can stop it. I don't want to die tongue-tied, and I don't want any of the others to die either. There must be something we can do, something we can use to free Jarek and the others from this cur curse, or whatever it is. And with that, we need to collect seven stars to continue. And... It's looking like we're going to start potentially losing people. <laughs> Sandy is trapped in the attic of this house. She's got a rifle. Jarek is trying to get into the attic through the latch, but Sandy's barricaded it. Sandy also kind of wants to open the latch. Anytime that Jarek starts to plead and make it, you know, anytime he starts to sound like him again and starts to plead and beg... Sandy gets a little, I don't know, like like she wants to try to help. But that's, opening the hatch is not going to be good. Obviously, we already know that it's a trick and that, you know, whatever's possessing Jarek is trying to deceive Sandy. But Sandy has that rifle, and I have a feeling it's going to come down to whether Sandy shoots that rifle or not. And it's going to come down to whether Jarek is, Jarek survives or Sandy survives. That's going to be a hard decision to make, I'm sure. Tammy and Leon, still somewhere in the orphanage, not sure where they're at. Annie is on her way to get Mika out of whatever room that she's trapped in. Hopefully, Annie will be able to get Mika and then they can go help Sandy, Jarek. Tam uh, Leon, Tammy, who knows? Samuel and Ina, they're almost like a lost cause too. I'm pretty sure Ina just got drugged. Probably Samuel as well. I just, I, I the, the bearers of light, this brotherhood, they're, they're, they're definitely still very dark. They're still very evil. And Goober, he just, I don't know. He's so naive to think that the Bears of Light have nothing to do with anything that's going on right now. And Poseidon, I don't I don't trust anything that Poseidon was saying. And either Goober is super naive or Goober is trying to help the Brotherhood. It's one of the two. Because, it, you know, there's no reason to believe that the Brotherhood or that the Bears of Light are, are, are this good community anymore. Especially with what's going on currently. And all the signs and all the evidence that we're seeing and how, how this symbol is constantly popping up. There's no way. Absolutely no way. But I hope you guys are enjoying Orphans. This was the first part of Orphans Episode 3. And I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And join the Tethered. As always, thanks for watching. Love you all. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye.